with the evolution of new technologies such as data center, 5G, and charging station, various new electricity consumption scenarios have multiplied, giving rise to more diversified development trends on the electricity load side. So let's welcome our keynote speaker, Mr. Lim Se Long, to give us speech on how to reduce carbon footprint on the electricity load side. Mr. Lin Se Long is a managing and technical director at Sun Electric, Singapore. He held positions in the commercial and technical sectors, as well as in trade associations and standardization bodies in Singapore and Malaysia, such as former president of Connex Southeast Asia. He is current secretary of Singapore Electric Trade Association. Mr. Lim is also member of Singapore National Committee of IEC, the Singapore Electrical Electronics Standards Committee. Mr. Lim is also the IEC ambassador to represent the interest of IEC in the sector of energy efficiency. Welcome, Mr. Lim. Good day to everybody. My sincere thanks to Chin for inviting me to join this event and share how IEC can be of help and to enhance China's journey on climate change and carbon neutrality. Smart cities and industrial automation are and will be the new way of life. There will be new expectation of productivity and resource efficiency to ensure environmental sustainability. In fact, the COVID-19 pandemic is accelerating the changes and charting new directions, which some are still changing and unpredictable. Safe and reliable supply of energy is needed. Why? Well, it is to drive the digitization journey. IEC is 115 years now. It has developed standard specification, review them regularly, and update them when necessary. Started with main focus on safety, then standardization for interoperability and compatibility. And for the past 10 years, we have been working on energy efficiency and now with requirements to ensure environmentally sustainable. As new requirement is put in place, the existing requirements are not forgotten. It is as it becomes the default expected norm when developing new products or solutions. For example, safety is now by default. At IEC, we urge every member country to adopt and to use the standard specification as it is. There are many IEC standards that work in collaboration with ISO or management system. Let me mention here two important publications, namely ISO, IEC ISO 14001 and IEC ISO 50001. These two standards impact greatly on the carbon management and they dealt in depth on environmental sustainability and energy efficiency. The IEC has a dedicated advisory committee on environmental aspects known as ACEA and this is to ensure that all IEC standards 
do not include specification which would harm the environment. Let me now illustrate with the energy chain and also your chain products and solution that I hope will make easier for everyone here to know. If you look at a source of fossil fuel and in the process of delivering electricity to the consumers, about 80% are losses in this supply chain. You have renewable power generation. You are different and amongst the world top leader and pioneer in renewable energy generation. For example, your solar photovoltaic energy is a full supply chain, meaning from silicon raw material to the battery storage for the consumers. At the load side, energy efficiency is very important for the consumers. IEC wants every product to meet requirement in environmental sustainability and energy efficiency. Safety is considered to be given. And you have it. IEC specifies products to be energy efficient by itself. Products like the transformers, the motors, the circuit breakers, and so on. They must be low loss by itself. And you have it. Product must be able to enable energy efficiency. They are, for example, variable speed drive, VSD for short, that drives the motor at optimized speed to ensure the process is efficient. Another example, present sensors is used to turn on and off the lights, depending if the people are still there or not. And you have it. Products can be easily interoperable and interconnected without much interfaces to reduce losses and errors because errors leads to wastage. And now, even better, interconnect at faster speed, such as 5G for system stability and reliability. And you have it. So what are the latest that IEC is promulgating. Well, it is about the design of electrical installation itself that needs to be energy efficient. The IEC 60364-8-1 is for functional aspect on energy efficiency. And the IEC 60364-8-2 is for requirements to help the prosumers. The consumer, instead of just using electricity, can also produce electricity by having solar PV and get connected to the electricity provider's grid. This consumer is known as a prosumer.
So, how do you do it? First, is to get the energy efficiency profile through the different class of measuring instrument and also monitoring through the meters. IEC 60364-8-1 gives illustration and method of workout necessary to find the ideal location to place the transformers and switch boards. This is to ensure energy efficiency of the whole installation. The installation can then be assessed and certified to meet different level of performance. IEC 60364-2-8 provides details on prosumer's electrical installation, in short, PEIs, and how to manage the electricity usage in a safe and reliable manner. Talking of safety, it brings me back to say IEC primarily started with safety for people. At the recent 85th GM general meeting in Dubai, the management board has charted the new work on safety in the future. This is already there is already a white paper published on this and I encourage everyone to start looking at it so that you are not left behind. With that, I'd like to conclude my sharing and thank you.